Hey guys, welcome back to BenderTube. Now, if it's your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you get all the latest and greatest from me. Now, I was using YouTube TV for a few months, but I dropped it recently. That's because I was sick of streaming everything for my phone every time I wanted to watch TV, and I just didn't feel I was getting enough channels for my 35 bucks a month. So I needed something new, so I decided to try Sling TV. With their orange package starting at 20 bucks a month and already offering more channels than YouTube does, it was almost a no-brainer. Now, Sling TV works on almost everything. They have dedicated Fire Stick, Roku, Apple TV apps, and they work on your iOS or Android device. YouTube TV didn't even offer any of this till about a week and a half ago, which was already too late for me. Now, this didn't come without any drawbacks. Unfortunately, I did lose that unlimited DVR, but for five bucks a month, I added on the 50 hour DVR that Sling offers, and it's plenty of storage space, and still costs less than the initial cost for YouTube. The other cool thing is Sling TV boasts about an a la carte TV experience. Now, while it's not true a la carte, I can't pick channel by channel, the packages are much smaller and confined. So you get as little or as much as you want for about five bucks in each package. Now, no streaming service is without fault here, guys. Regardless of what service you get, you are not getting CBS, NBC, Fox, and the CW or whatever. You're gonna get a couple of those here and there, and you're certainly not gonna get all those additional channels that are available in your area without an antenna. So what are you to do in that situation? Well, most people would sit there and just kind of accept that they don't have those channels, or you go out and get an antenna and switch between your streaming service and your regular TV, which quite frankly is really annoying. So Sling TV realized they were lacking on the local channels completely. And so they paired with Air TV to bring together Sling TV and the over the air channels into one usable interface. Now the step they went further with this is that they give you a Bluetooth remote with it with voice control. It even has dedicated Netflix and Google search buttons. The great thing here is that you could just sit there watching a show and switch over to Netflix with ease or search something on Google or if you're just sitting there and don't want to type out something that you're searching for, just sit there, click the little microphone button and tell it Family Guy. Then it's going to pop up with what channels have Family Guy on or if there's any on-demand services available for it. Now I am a big fan of the Air TV player because I am sick of switching between apps and then the regular TV just to see what Barry Allen is screwing up this week on The Flash. I mean, dude, it's been like four seasons. Get it together, you either run and punch the guy or like let someone else take care of it. Cisco can throw holes in space and time. Just like have him shoot him through that. Jesus Christ. Now here's the part where you guys want to know if you get it or forget it. It's great for anybody that wants better TV on a budget or just anybody that's trying to save some money on their cable bill. Now pair that with the air player and you have the whole package ready to go for you. you. got regular channels, premium channels, and even Netflix access right at your hand without having to ever change over an input. Now the good thing here is you don't have to take my word for it guys. Sling TV has a seven day trial going on. Go click the link below, try it out. If you like it, go ahead and keep it. If not, there's nothing off your back. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.